All right, hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Today, guys, I'm so excited because there will be so much to show you. We're gonna expand the city with a high residential area, and look at this. We're gonna create this huge and super nice boulevard in the main road with a lot of assets, with a lot of super nice shops. So stick around and enjoy the video. Alright, so the part of the map that we are gonna expand this time will be this one up there um, above the river. So if you remember in the previous episodes we created a very nice indus uh, industrial area, we created the two mini city, but now guys I want to do something different. I want to create like a layout which is not boring, which is not just grid, but it's something cool. So for this layout, uh, I actually got inspiration by a project, which is a real project, uh, which is called Clark City. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, so I uh, recommend you to go and have a look at it. It's a project made by the Philippine uh, government, so it's a new city, it's very cool, and of course it's not gonna be the same, but uh, there is actually, uh, you know, a lot from, from that project. And the, the way it's done, and the way my terrain, my you know, cost is done, is actually perfect for this kind of project. Because as you can see, this uh, kind of grid will follow exactly the terrain and, uh, and the shape of it. So it's gonna be uh, super cool. I'm, I'm so excited because uh, I didn't expect actually such a result. And uh, I'm very, very happy, guys. So, you know, uh, please let me know in the comment what you think about that. Uh, if you like the, the design, if you like this kind of layout, if you want me actually in the next episode, episodes to, uh, to create more uh, something like this. Um, the idea is to create three different areas, uh, three different districts, uh, I will show you later. And I actually named these three districts uh, with the name of the three followers. Uh, that follow me all the time. They're super nice guys. They, you know, leave all the time comments. So, if you would like to be in, in one of, uh, you know, the district or, or or a name, just you know, follow the Discord uh, channel. I will leave the link here in the description. Uh, and you know, there is actually a nice community uh, growing up. So it's gonna be very nice if you or guys are there. Um, so as I said before, there will be three districts. The, the first one, which is the one on the left, which will be uh, mainly high residential shops, high residential, sorry, high residential uh, buildings. There will be a lot of very nice shops and I will talk about that later. So here I realized that um, I need to expand the highway because in the new uh, map, in the new uh, city or town that I'm going to create, uh, you know, since it's going to be high residential, then uh, there is the need of course of having uh, direct access from the highway so I destroyed the, the previous roundabout here and I'm creating this highway uh, on top of it um, anyway these two small towns they will have access um, uh, to the highway from the other intersection if you remember the one that I created uh, in the last uh, in the previous episode so here I'm gonna expand to um, you know, uh, I want to go actually to the other side of the map because there is the other highway there. So I want to actually allow people coming from that highway uh, to be connected to both cities using this, uh, this new one. Uh, I use parallel road just to create, you know, the, the roads uh, the, you know, together so they, they look nice. And then I'm just using some trees, uh, you know, just to make this roundabout uh, to look nice because it's kind of big. It's in the middle of the two towns, so I don't want this huge, you know, roads uh, just to be to be there in the middle. I use a mix of rocks and, and trees. Uh, but the result is pretty nice. Here I'm creating another intersection. So of course I want people coming from this highway, you know, just to go around, to use the, uh, the intersection, to use the other highway, or just keep going and, and you know, following this highway. I use this one here, uh, which is uh, just uh, one exit, but it's exactly what I need in this moment. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna expand the city up there, but in case I will, you know, just create another uh, probably intersection with uh, four exit instead of just uh, two, like uh, three, like in this case. And then I just connect the um, highways using still the, uh, you know, parallel road to that intersection over there. I want to use here the content creation pack, the new one, just to create a bridge from the, uh, the old town to the new area that we just, uh, you know, developed over there. I think, you know, in, I want to give access uh, to the citizens also from this part of the town. So guys, keep in mind, the more you, you know, access you create, the better is in terms of traffic. Here I'm upgrading uh, all the roads. For this project, um, I wanted to use a road that I never used before, which is a four lane road with the bike uh, lane. I think it's super cool. I want this, you know, uh, part of the, uh, of the uh, city to be also a very nice and, and big college. So, you know, I really want to see a lot of bikes going around and, you know, young people going around. There will be a sports center over there. So this area is going to be so cool, guys. I use the basically two uh, kind of roads. So this four lane roads for the main um, uh, avenues and then the two lane roads, which is the one that I'm using here. So in this way, there's no traffic. Um, it's gonna be, you know, very easy for the cars to move around. Looks nice, huh? And two lanes even over there. So as you can see, the four lane roads is just for the, you know, the main road or the main avenue and also in the place where I will create the, uh, the boulevard. Now here we are, the best part of the video. I found the assets which I find really, really cool. And um, I had the space in between the two main roads. I didn't know what to do. And then, you know, I said, why don't, you know, why shouldn't I create a very nice space for citizens just to go around? This is gonna be, as I said before, uh, a place where there will be a lot of offices, a lot of shops. Uh, so, you know, there will be uh, tons of citizens going around over there. And, you know, in this way, they can also enjoy the time, uh, you know, with the boyfriend or with the girlfriend, having a nice dinner over there. Uh, here, there is this tool, which is, uh, you know, you can actually change the color of the terrain. In this case, I'm just using this gray, which is kind of cement or something similar and then another asset which is beautiful this one here where you can put some uh, trees on, on, on it uh, I will use this pattern all um, across the uh, boulevard so I'm first copying and pasting using uh, move it and then I will uh, select different types of trees and I will place the trees over there you know it, it looks very very nice I use this asset, but there is also this other color, which I use uh, at the at the edge of, of the boulevard. So at the beginning and the end and in the small area, in the small spaces. And then I use different trees. I like this uh, kind of pinkish one. I think it, you know, it gives a very nice look to the boulevard. And then I use another kind of tree. So I, I, let's say to create a different variation, I'm, I'm using, you know, different ones. So there is the pink one, there is this purple one, and up there I will uh, use also some uh, palm tree. Here it is, which sound, you know, palm trees are always nice. Uh, as I said before, uh, the roads are basically with the bike lane. So I really want to see a lot of bike in this in this area, guys. I, I found these assets with different bikes, with the bike parking. I'm just using again, move it, copying and paste. And then I will uh, leave this kind of, you know, these bikes parked there, uh, which looks very, very nice. I found actually different assets. I will leave all the links in the description, guys. So don't worry about that if you don't see anything here. Also this one, look how, how nice it looks. It, this is kind of, you know, electric bike. Um, so it's, it's a combo actually. You can find the electric bike parking, but also the bike itself. It, it looks super nice. This one, it's another one. So with the bike there inside. So, you know, 
I think these kind of things make the difference, especially when you when you see at the main uh, avenue or the boulevard and you see those stuff, you see, you know, you really would like to be in that city. Don't you? Some nice place you can eat, some table there. Very cool. So here I want to create a huge uh, solar panel um, field because I want my city to be green. So every one of these produce 11, I think, yeah, megawatt. So I will create tons of them. So they will they will provide the city with uh, with a lot of energy. And I dedicate this um, district and this also uh, farm, a solar panel farm, to one of the guy. Uh, that follows me all the time, which is uh, Blueing. Hello, Blueing. For sure, you're watching it. So, congratulations! It's it's a super nice solar panel uh, farm, and this is this will provide the city with a lot of energy. And as I said, I'm also writing this Blueing here. So yeah, that's dedicated to you, man. Nice. Here I will create, as I said before, the first district. This is called Carrot High Tech District, which is the name of the other guy, of the other follower. This one uh, here will be uh, the second district where there will be the university campus. And the name of this district is Supreme High Tech um, District, which is the name of the other guy. And here again, there is the Blueing um, High Tech District, which is the third district of this uh, small town, which is not that small. It's gonna be amazing when you will see the results at the end. There are a few policies that I that I used, so mainly like you know uh, uh, high taxes and. Um, all right, here I start zoning everything. I'm starting, you know, to, to play some nice building over there. So there are two ways that you can actually expand the city. You can just zone using, you know, the tool to zone, but you can actually place one by one all the buildings that you want. So here on the left side, I'm using more uh, offices and uh, at the back, so in, you know, next to the, in the second road, there are more like residential, high residential buildings. So I want to keep next to the to the main uh, boulevard just shops and offices, and the the, re the residential area would be actually behind. So you know, far from the noise and and from the from the traffic. So I'm placing one by one all the buildings that I want. Um, and at the end, I will use different kind of buildings. Uh, so like you saw before, there is Armani, there is Gucci, there is Prada, uh, there is uh, Nike, and you know, a lot of very famous shops just to be, and, and, and the big, probably you, you've seen it at the beginning, uh, the big Chanel shops. And then I noticed that, uh, as I said before, I created this, uh, you know, different highway, but I, I didn't create any uh, entrance to the city or just, you know, I want to allow people to leave the city using the highway. So I'm creating a, an intersection here. I cannot use uh, one pre-made because it's, it's very hard to do. So I had to make it uh, one uh, from scratch. So this is a two lane roads and then they will be split so the people that want to go on the right side and the cars and trucks that they want to go on the left side uh, to reach the other city that we built in the previous episode. This was very tricky to build but in the end it was pretty nice. adjustment because I didn't like the shape of it I will go I will go back there so many times just to try and fix it uh, to make it look nice much better now yeah and here guys is the result uh, as you can see on the left uh, side, there is Chanel, there is Prada, uh, there are all the best shops over there. 
uh, there are offices, there are uh, high residential buildings, there is the Apple store here on the right side. So I'm very excited, I'm very happy about the result of this. I really can wait to expand more uh, this area because there is still much more to do. Uh, as I said before during the, uh, the video, there is the campus uh, that will be probably made in, in the next video. Uh, there will be the hub for the train station because now I've reached more than 9,500 uh, citizens so I can create, uh, I can use the, the new content pack creator. So guys, thank you again for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all your support. The channel is growing very fast. I'm super happy about that. Uh, thank you again. Please remember to subscribe if you want to follow me, if you want to watch more videos like this. I will try to publish uh, two videos, one video per week. So this is what I, of course, aim to, aim to do. But please, guys, write me in the comment if you need something else. And thank you again. Bye.